I'm Jim Tobin with Carousel, and today I want to talk about hashtags, when to use them, and why to use them, particularly with branded hashtags. Now, hashtags have been around since 2007 on Twitter, and they were designed as a way to help somebody follow a conversation thread, and it was shorthand for, let's say I'm at an event. I could use the hashtag for the event without typing out in each and every event, each and every tweet that I was at this particular event. Then people started using hashtags ironically, like sorry, not sorry. And then as more and more users came on social media, not knowing the purpose of a hashtag, they used them unironically and incorrectly. So the purpose of a branded hashtag, they can be used effectively for tracking an influencer campaign or another social campaign. But let's remember you only need one to do that. No regular person is clicking on your hashtag. No regular person is using your branded hashtag. It is not a way to go viral. Twitter research shows that tweets with one or two hashtags get about 21% more engagement than other tweets, but tweets with three or more hashtags actually get 17% less engagement. So if you're polluting your feed, you're likely hurting your ability to spread that message. We have found in our own research that hashtags on Facebook do not measurably increase the exposure of the message on Facebook. On Instagram, they do, but they should be limited to between five and nine hashtags in total. The most important thing before you use a hashtag is ask yourself, why am I using this hashtag? If you have a good reason, use it. If you don't, let it go. Until next time on The Spin, I'm Jim Tobin with Carousel.